Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing more news surfacing about the major recent character death on The Walking Dead during the Season 8 mid-season finale. With that being said, huge spoiler warning for everything in the show up to Episode 808, and let's jump right into this. So while searching Reddit, I came across a post that involved a screenshot of a message that Chandler Riggs apparently sent to one of the main sources at the Spoiling Dead fans. For those of you who don't know about TSDF, they are the spoiler community, and they actually refrained from completely spoiling something for once. Apparently Chandler Riggs literally contacted them on their website or wherever and asked them to keep the spoiler to themselves. Now the top comment on the reddit post is a link to the spoiling dead fans tumblr or something where they give an entire rundown of the whole situation. So let's go ahead and go over this, but the links will be in the description so feel free to check it out yourselves. Alright, the spoiling dead fans explains the mid-season finale decision. We promised we would share our reasons for not posting slash confirming any spoilers for the mid-season finale. We're here to follow through with our word, buttercups. This decision to purposely not spoil anything about episode 808 was something we have never done before, mostly because the circumstances we were faced with were something we've never experienced before. Back in October, we posted some tracking information about Carl's possible demise on our forum and private Facebook group. Since at the time we weren't 100% sure if this was correct, we heavily labeled it as unconfirmed. Later we would learn that our suspicions were correct and that Carl was indeed a goner. Fast forward to just a few weeks ago. Much to our surprise, Chandler Riggs reached out to us with a very heartfelt request. He knew it was only a matter of time before we would be able to publicly confirm what we knew. He respectfully asked us to not post the reveal at the end of episode 808. His performance throughout the episode heavily weighed on what was revealed in the last three minutes. We were blown away by his maturity and class. We're attaching a screenshot of what he said. And then you continue on to the actual conversation and it says, A request, Chandler Riggs, 21 days ago. Hi, so I've come to realize that you all have probably figured out the big reveal at the end of 808. If not, you will soon enough via one of your sources. I get that you guys have been doing this since we started, but I have a request. Out of respect for me, for Carl, and for one of the last few seasons of the show, I'm asking you to not spoil the ending of 808 once your sources inform you of what happens. I poured my heart into a couple of episodes this season, and 808 is one of them. I'm so proud of my performance, and a lot of it rides off of a surprise ending. This of course is what you all do, but the integrity of what happens is pretty crucial to my performance throughout the rest of the episode, and I'd really appreciate it if you all would hold back just this one time. This is the only time I'll request something like this, so don't worry about me coming back later and doing the same thing. Thanks for reading this, hope to hear back from you. Chandler. Continuing through the article, they say, We have always believed in not withholding confirmed spoilers. This situation definitely tested those values. The way we saw it, we had a choice. We could ignore the request and continue to do what we do by confirming Carl's death, which means we would have had to confirm how, or we could honor Chandler, the young man who we watched grow up on our television screens for the past eight years. We could give him the biggest send-off we possibly could by simply shutting our mouths. We chose to honor Chandler. While not everyone has respected Chandler recently, we feel it was the right thing to do for someone who has been a predominant part of the show since its pilot. You might disagree with this decision, but as far as what TSDF does, it was our decision to make. Consensus is not governable by committee. This is certainly not a situation we have faced before. For those of you around during the Lucille victim chaos, you might remember that we said at the time that if the show would have simply reached out to us rather than attempting legal action, it would have turned out differently. The only time anyone from the show reached out to us, it was through AMC lawyers or investigators and full of legal threats and hostilities. Chandler's approach was much different. He treated us like fans, not enemies, so it turned out differently. With this decision, we reminded ourselves what we are, fans first. While we believe Chandler owes us absolutely nothing, we did make one request. We asked him to write a message to our community members at TSDF, and he kindly obliged, and this is his message to our members. Dear the Spoiling Dead fans, I don't really know how to start this other than saying thank you. Though we, cast and crew, have always kind of been super frustrated with this community, seeing how dedicated you are to the show over the past few weeks really gives me a new appreciation for you all. Up until 701, I hated seeing our hard work getting leaked, but once 701 aired with a large chunk of the fanbase knowing what would happen, 
and made me realize that knowing what happens doesn't always take away the integrity of the show. Though many people knew who was going to die, they still cried and shook in terror of seeing the characters that they loved getting killed. With all that being said, I reached out to Ninja just a few weeks ago, asking him not to reveal the end of episode 808, since a lot of my performance relied on how the episode ends. Ninja and Shiny knew that they would take a lot of heat from the decision, but them caring more about how I felt towards this episode than their reputation gave me a massive new level of respect and appreciation towards them. And seeing how dedicated and constantly excited you all are about the show despite the drastic decrease in The Walking Dead's ratings made me the most excited about this episode than I've been in years. Though I don't necessarily approve of the spoiler content being released on this forum, fans like you are the reason that I've had a job for the past 8 years. People like you have given me the chance to live my dream, and they've given me the chance to go on and do bigger and more exciting things than The Walking Dead. You all have let me make you shake in nervousness in fear of your most beloved character in danger, yell in excitement at a victory for the group, scream at your television in frustration of Carl not staying in the house, also please stop yelling that at me at conventions lol, and cry out of empathy when your favorite character suffers a grave loss. I invite you to be excited to see how Carl's story ends, and how my story continues to unfold both musically and theatrically. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity of a lifetime, I won't let you down, Chandler. And finally, the article concludes by saying, We would like to take the time to specifically thank Chandler, not only for pouring his heart and almost half his life into the role of Carl, but for being so wonderful to his fans. We are also so grateful that he took the time to take a deeper look at our community to try and understand what we're all about. Chandler, we are so proud of you. You are incredibly talented and meant for greatness. We know your final scenes will be one of the most memorable moments in this show's history. Gimple definitely ripped the heart out of this show with his decision to kill Carl. Nothing will ever be the same. While we will still miss you as Carl, we look forward to your future projects. Thank you so much for everything, Ninja Pancake and Shiny Firefly. Now, what the Spoiling Dead fans released about the unconfirmed spoiler was before Chandler had ever contacted them, as that was just a few weeks ago. They decided to not post any spoilers for episode 808 either, although they apparently promised to give the explanation afterwards, which is what this all was. Now, during the course of The Walking Dead being on the show, each week before a new episode, TSDF creates a post where they pretty much confirm spoilers. Now, for whatever reason, they make it in a Q&A type format, but my point is, is that they didn't do that at all for episode 808. TSDF not only agreed upon Chandler Riggs' request, but they also decided to not put out a Q&A spoiler post for the week of episode 808. Aside from the original unconfirmed spoilers that they made speculating about Carl months ago, they never posted anything else that would spoil the episode. So there you have it, Chandler politely asked them a favor, and they obliged. I'm not sure if this means that they'll be holding off more spoilers in the future, but I certainly hope so. Because of the unconfirmed spoilers from way back in October, we already knew about it, except that it wasn't 100% confirmed yet. This just made me glue my eyes to Carl all episode as I was awaiting to see him possibly die. I can only imagine how shocked I would have felt if I didn't know about this moment from the beginning of season 8, and that if I wasn't thinking about Carl possibly dying throughout the entirety of the episode. What do you guys think about all of this? Chandler Riggs did say that he'd never ask something like that again from them, but would they still accept requests like this in the future from other actors on the show? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, along with any predictions or theories you might have. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today or even subscribe for more Walking Dead Season 8 content in the near future. If you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon where there's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as the chance to directly influence the videos being produced. It isn't necessary by any means, but in these times with the apocalypse it could really help in the long run. But as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.